Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We'll get to Election Day coverage in a moment. But first, families are cleaning up after storms swept through parts of our area last night. At 11 p.m., a tornado tore through one Tupelo neighborhood, leaving a trail of destruction. And the stories of survival coming out of there are just remarkable. WCBI meteorologist Jacob Dickey has more from the devastation. We have a, a dangerous a tornado confirmed on the ground here. You've seen that confirmed tornado there. As sirens blared and tornadoes raced across the southeast, residents faced terror in the dark. But it would be morning before the devastation left behind could be seen. Homes were destroyed, trees mangled, debris was tossed everywhere. Residents had the daunting task of cleaning up the neighborhood ahead of them. In spite of the devastation, stories of survival emerged from the rubble. We were still in the bed and immediately, split second, we heard just massive amounts of rain, hail, and I thought the window was going to come in on us. I was hiding under the comforter and my husband watched the roof go off the house. The house was destroyed, their belongings strewn everywhere, but Courtney says a miracle kept her alive. I've been sick and having coughing fits, so I normally sleep on the couch. For a couple of weeks, and this last night, I actually went and slept in the bed. Obviously, that would have been not good. So, we were safe in the bed with just a comforter over us while everything else moved, the bed never moved. Just down the road, the tornado picked up a mailbox and hurled it through a nursery window. A baby girl was sleeping inside. She was left covered in debris. We found uh, we got all kinds of large pieces of glass, small pieces of glass, uh, a lot of debris, dirt, leaves. Nick feared the worst. I grabbed her so quick, my I actually got glass all in my hands, and so I, I started shaking her off and everything. She was crying, but she is okay, and there were no injuries. Baby Stella had not a single scratch on her. Honestly, we just thank God for uh, for having his hand over and and making sure she was okay throughout the storm. The way that the, the mailbox came in, it could have easily gone into a crib. And uh, we just honestly don't even want to think about the end result of that if that were to happen. In Tupelo, Jacob Dickey, WCBI News.